and thank you for having me back. It's a week before Christmas, and I'd like to thank the Hamilton Drug Alliance for having me back again and picking me up from the North Pole and bringing me to Hamilton, New Jersey, the blueberry capital of the United States. I'm going to read your last story for you before it's Christmas time, and this is called The Night Before Christmas. All right, kids, gather close around the TV and snuggle up. Bring mom and dad, brother and sister in too. And if grandma and grandpa are around, bring them over too. Are we ready? Okay. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what do my wandering eyes appear? But a miniature sleigh with a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before their wild hurricane fly, when they met with the obstacles, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and of course St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheek were like roses, his nose was like a cherry. His droll little mouth, was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stoppings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger a side of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they all flew. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All right, boys and girls, 
We just have a week before Christmas, so Merry Christmas, be good, God bless, and once again, thank you to the Hamilton Drug Alliance for bringing me to Hamilton again to visit with you all. Have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Bye.